Understanding Cold Number Water, a simple guide. Hello, everyone. Today, we're going to explore a fascinating English phrase, hold no water. This phrase is commonly used in conversations and writings. But what does it actually mean? Let's dive in and find out. The phrase, hold no water, is believed to have originated from the practice of using containers to hold liquids. If a container had holes or cracks, it would not be able to hold water, making it ineffective or useless. Similarly, when we say an argument or idea holds no water, we mean that it is flawed, weak, or not credible. Now, let's see how to use hold no water in different contexts. This phrase is often used in debates, discussions, and critical analyses. For example, if someone presents an argument that is full of logical fallacies, you might say, your argument holds no water, indicating that their argument is not convincing or valid. It's also useful to know variations and synonyms of this phrase. You might hear, doesn't hold water, or cannot hold water. Synonyms include phrases like, lacks credibility, is flawed, or is unsubstantial. These can be used interchangeably depending on the context. To fully grasp this phrase, let's look at some examples. 1. The theory that the Earth is flat holds no water in the scientific community. 2. Her excuse for being late didn't hold water, as the traffic was reported to be smooth that day. And that's a wrap on, hold no water. I hope this video has shed some light on this interesting phrase and that you'll feel confident using it in your conversations and writings. Remember, English is a language full of colorful expressions, and understanding them can make communication more effective and fun. See you in the next video.